Yo yo yo, welcome back to Megan's Troll Time! Where I've just completely abandoned any other content other than taking the piss out of other content. Don't worry, this isn't beer, this is apple juice, see? No bubbles. So many of you probably watched my last week's video where I got four brand new beautiful pets. My rocks. Leonard, Leroy, Tartan, and Schlamanthema. Today I'm going to be setting up their enclosures and teaching you how to do it yourself. We're going to do a naturalistic looking enclosure, a fully bioactive enclosure, and finally a not so natural, more fabulous looking enclosure. So keep watching here, because we're gonna teach you how to take care of those beautiful little rock friends that you now have. Now many rocks you can go ahead and free range, however, I did have to physically separate my rocks because Schlamanthema was being very aggressive. She's the alpha rock. So I've gone ahead and I've made them all enclosures so they can have nice little homes. Don't worry about temperatures. Rocks do have a freeze-thaw cycle, so if they're not outside in like the really, really cold weather, you're probably fine. Or the point for most molten is about 1200 degrees Celsius. So as long as you stay between freezing cold below the surface boiling hot, you'll be perfectly fine. Now, rocks do eat dirt, so don't be afraid to give them a little dirt to munch on, because they want to get all the nutrients, they need a lot of iron, all sorts of other minerals and rocks in order to survive. They also like to burrow. It's a good idea to give them little hides. Don't be afraid of giving them maybe prop rocks or fake rocks. They can sit around and have them as their own pet rocks. As for water, they don't really need it. They're good. They're a very great first time pet for anyone who is looking for one. I'd highly recommend a pet rock. Let's go ahead and start off with the enclosures. I built them all yesterday. My rocks are now thriving. So let's start off with Leonard's enclosure. Now Leonard is my most gentle rock. He just uh, wants to chill, wants to munch on some dirt, maybe burrow around. You know, he's, he's a chill guy. So his enclosure is actually just a little freestanding bowl. So I started off with just some plain old dirt from the outside. Don't worry about pesticides. What doesn't kill rocks only makes them stronger. This is more realistic, however, it's not bioactive, so feel free to use whatever dirt you want. I live in a desert. Now I wanted to give him a little bit more of a naturalistic hide, so I cut a Coke can in half and buried part of it. It looked real cute, to be fair. All right, so after burying half the Coke can, I went ahead and added some beautiful little plenty plants. These are all the plants from last week when I tried to make a gecko ledge drunk. Didn't turn out great. Highly recommend you watch it though, it's pretty hilarious. But anyways, now he's just a happy little rock. He's got all the dirt in the world to munch on and got a little burrow as well. We are going to be checking in on all the rocks and, and seeing their progress since yesterday. I'm very excited about this. So next up is my fully bioactive enclosure for Tartan and Leroy. Now I am planning on breeding Tartan and Leroy. I'm hoping to get some beautiful quartz sedimentary morph rocks out of the mix. Now I did go with more of a desert look. I was thinking, you know what? If I mess this up, I can just put the plants outside because I live in a desert. Now the succulent I bought, I'm not gonna lie, uh, was pretty close to death. Just, she wasn't looking great. Like, I even had to take her to Starbucks after I bought her because I was scared she was just gonna die in my car if I left her for those five minutes. Now, this is actually a little bit more technical than the other one. So, when creating like a more desert look or even just a plant that likes a little bit more a drid, that's right, fancy words. So, we started off with some sort of drainage layer. This needs to be some sort of gravel. I used both a little bit of gravel and perlite to get a nice little layer of drainage in there. Uh, you can use a variety of things. This is just what I use. And then I slowly added soil and perlite together. I did mix a little bit of the top layer of the drainage and the top and the bottom layer of soil together just because I didn't want like a pocket where the roots could rot because these plants are very sensitive to that because they are from the desert. Wow, actual education. Bound to happen sometime. Now I didn't water them because the soil was already pretty damp by the time I put it in there and I felt like if I put more in there it just wouldn't wouldn't really sit right with the plants, you know? I'm not trying to kill them like the day after I get them. I'm trying to have another Tandy Brown success story. I will keep you updated on these. I don't think I'll kill the cactuses. Um, I might kill the succulent, but the second one was already like after when I bought it, so I don't really think it counts. Now in this one I did add a little bit of fake rocks in there. So my pet rocks could have their own 
pet rocks. I also added a little half log in order for them to be able to hide in and I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some babies later this week, you know. Tartan's been acting real lethargic, she just wants to eat all the dirt. I think, I think there could be some babies here, guys. Thinking I could be a professional rock reader. Abandoning YouTube, opening up a shop, becoming a professional rock reader. Next enclosure. Now the next enclosure is our alpha rock, Schlamanthema. Now hers was a little bit less realistic. It was mostly just like fabric in a nice little critter carrier type of enclosure. Tartan and Leroy actually live in uh, my Gargoyle Gecko's old enclosure, and then I just had this big glass bowl. Now I did say that rocks like to burrow, however if you can't give them the dirt to be able to burrow, you can be sure to give them plenty of hides. In this one, Schlamanthema actually inherited the Mr. Poopy Butthole hide that I made, as well as a little um, plastic planter. And next I just added plants so that you could have some nice little enrichment, and Schlamanthema's pretty into it. I do have to keep adding a bowl of dirt to Schlamanthema's cage just because, you know, there's none on the ground, so she gets it in a bowl. She's fine with it though. I mean, she's she's not a big rock, so she doesn't need like all the soil. She just needs like a bowl a day. She's fine. All right, so now that I've shown you how I've set up my three enclosures for my four new pets, we're gonna go ahead, check in with all of them because they're all doing fabulously, I might add, okay? I am the greatest rock pet tuber of all time. All right, so here's Leonard. He's on my little old nightstand. He's just chilling. He likes his plants. You can tell by the look in his eyes. He's just like, wow, I, I love this. I love this Coke can. I love these plants. I'm in rock heaven right now. So beautiful. Wow, I'm such an artist. There's our alpha rock, Shlamanthema, enjoying her enclosure. Do have to refill her dirt bowl. Let me go do that real quick, actually. Here goes Shlamanthema. Good rock. Good rock. You're the best rock. Don't tell the others. You're my favorite. Yeah, you're a good lady. Good little rock lady. You can see she's very much enjoying her hide just as much as Percy's enjoying ruining this video. Do you want to say something? Okay, so I haven't really checked Tartan and Leroy's cage yet today. It is up here, so they do have Tammy Brown, our favorite polka dot plant in the world, as neighbors. So let's go ahead and check them out. Oh, oh, oh! What is that? Are those babies? Oh, <gasps> that's right. Oh, yes, sweet. Look at me, I have baby rocks now. Oh, I'm the greatest rock breeder of all time. Luckily, I do have a tank set up. So let me go grab that real quick for said babies and tartan. All right guys, I'll give you a little bit of a better look. Bioactive enclosure here real quick before I show you the nursery tank. Here we have Leroy, he's all alone for now, but don't worry, his love will find her way back. Here is the nursery tank. There we go, we got three little bibbies. Very hard to figure out their gender at this point. Uh, we'll find out, we have three of them. One in the middle is a little bit of a runt. Um, it's good for them to be kept with the mother at this point in their life. They cannot eat the dirt by themselves. They need someone to show them how to. So there's a little bit of dirt. We'll put a little bit more in there. They're probably still nice and full because they just Left this tank. You know, mom and babies, I think, are doing fantastic. I'm pretty sure I got that quartz sedimentary morph. Figure out as they age to see if they'll get more shiny like their dad, who is a quartz morph rock. So he'll be staying in the desert for a little longer. And then his wife will return back to him and possibly also the babies. But then at some point, they are going to have to leave the rock nest, as they say. Enclosures and babies. The beautiful circle of rock life. Beautiful, wonderful. We stand. Good luck, Tartan. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful mother. Yeah, look at her. Look at that look in her eye, okay? She was obviously built to be a mother. We're good. We're fine. She's going to do amazing. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should name the babies. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below telling me which enclosure you liked the best and whether you think I'll take this meme even further because I'm not going to lie. But anyways, make sure you thumbs up the video because maybe I'll do more pet rock stuff. I don't know. They're easy to take care of. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every Monday and Friday. She's a busy woman.
Make sure you check out merch down in the link below. Follow me on all my social media where you can see me post dumb stuff every day. Okay, I will see you guys on Friday. I hope you guys have a very happy week. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe it'll have actual animals in it. Don't know yet. Haven't gotten that far. Okay, bye.